In this video, we're going to derive the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix M. So let's take M to be any matrix with any entries A, B, C, D. So the inverse of this matrix, M to the minus 1, is such that when we multiply it by that matrix, we get the identity matrix. So let's do that. Let's take A, B, C, D and multiplied by a general matrix W, X, Y, Z to get the identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. And what we're trying to do here is find out what this matrix has to be to get the identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1 to find out what this inverse is in terms of A, B, C and D. So let's form some equations. So let's multiply these matrices out. We'll get A, W plus CX equals 1. Let's call that equation A. Then we've got BW plus DX equals 0. Then we've got AY plus CZ equals 0. Let's call that equation C. And then we've got BY plus DZ by plus dz equals 1. Let's call that equation D. Now let's concentrate on the first pair of equations here. Just want to concentrate on those. And in particular, it's going to be much easier if we concentrate on equation B first, because B has fewer terms. So we can say that B implies BW equals minus dx and from that we can get an expression for w which means that w equals minus dx over b so now we substitute that into the other equation equation a so subbing w equals minus dx over b into a so then we get a w but in this case we know w is minus dx over b so a times minus dx over b plus cx equals 1 so then let's just write this nicely let's uh, neaten it up a little bit Simplify it, we get minus a d x over b plus c x equals 1. So now taking out x as a factor on the left hand side, we get x bracket minus a d over b plus c equals 1. which in turn implies, okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to add these as fractions now, so I need to give C the same denominator as minus AD, i.e. I need to times it by B over B. So writing that out again, X bracket minus AD over B plus CB over B equals 1, which implies x bracket and let's make it bc minus ad over b equals 1 and this in turn means that x equals so if I multiply by b I get b on the right hand side and divide by bc minus ad bc minus AD like that and for reasons which will become clear later I'm going to actually rewrite this in an equivalent form times the both times in both the top and bottom by minus 1 to get an equivalent expression equaling X so we're going to leave that there for now X is minus B over AD minus BC so what we're going to do now we're going to sub that into our other equation so we start with equation B there let's let's sub that in there to find out what W is. 
So now taking our earlier derived expression for w, which was minus dx over b. So w equals minus dx over b. But we know what x is now. We know that x in terms of just a, b, c, and d is minus b over a, d minus b, c. That's what we just worked out here. So we've got minus d over b there times x. So equals minus d over b times x, which was minus b over a d minus b c. Well, we can see here that if we multiply this out, we get minus d times minus b, which is db over b bracket a d minus b c. And hopefully you can see here that the b on top and the b on the bottom cancel to give d over a d minus b c equals w. Put a box around that because we're going to refer to it later. So we've got w and x. Now we're going to follow exactly the same process for y and z. So I'm just going to take these two equations here and copy them. And paste them just down here. And we're going to go through exactly the same process. So now equation C. That implies that AY equals minus CZ. Giving that Y equals minus CZ over A. Subbing that into the other equation. So now D implies that BY, so B times our expression for Y, which we got here. So B times minus CZ over A. plus dz equals 1 and taking out a factor of z z bracket minus bc over a plus d equals 1 now trying to put all of this over a denominator of a we get z bracket minus bc over a plus ad over a equals 1. Put them all over the same denominator. So that becomes AD minus BC over A equals 1. Then just rearranging that to get Z equals. Um, that means that Z equals A over AD minus BC. So we're almost there. So now... Putting a box around that, it's a key part of our working. We want to draw any markers' attention to it in an exam. We're now going to sub this expression for z into our expression for y. So we can see there at the top of the screen, y is minus cz over a. So we've got y equals minus c over a, we'll keep it at the front, times z, which is a over a d minus b c and we can see that the a's cancel equals minus c over a d minus b c right so we've got our matrix m which we defined earlier if we go right back to the start as being a b c d so M was A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. And our matrix inverse M, which was W, X, Y, Z. But we worked out W earlier. There it is there. To be D over A, D minus B, C. So W was D over a d minus b c we've got x as being minus b over a d minus b c 
for minus B over AD minus BC. We've got Y as being minus C over AD minus BC. And Z, which was A over AD minus BC. And notice with this, we can take out the factor of 1 over AD minus BC from each term. So let's do that to give D minus B minus C A. And there's the general inverse matrix. And you'll notice that this here at the front, this bit here, 1 over AD minus BC. Well, AD, AD minus BC is just the determinant of M equals 1 over the determinant of M, D minus B minus C, A. And let's compare this to the original matrix. So we've got there A, B, C, D. Notice that B and C have just had their signs swapped. And A and D on the leading diagonal have swapped places. So this long-winded method has shown us how to find the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix. We'll find 1 over the determinant, and that's a factor that we put at the front of the matrix. Then, the positions of B and C stay the same, but we make those elements negative. We do swap A and D with each other, as we can see here. So for any 2 by 2 matrix, this is a general formula for the determinant that you're allowed to remember. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And to find out more about our Skype tuition and revision courses, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.